Let's go for more six blades. Finally finished. Chris's harness carry the lock sheath. So that's an original piece of Viking inspired artwork um, based on Fenrir. And I've done a serpentine version of it. Uh, Fenrir is chained at one point, so that's why he's all looped around this back end there. So he's sort of vaguely restrained. Very Viking. Got the rear um, yoke, as it were, but that's still a belt loop. So if ever he wanted to do belt carry, that, uh, that section there allows belt carry. Just beast. I got from uh, Jackie Identity Store. No messing, one inch. I got sliding keepers to allow flexibility and it'll it'll bear down onto it with those thickness on the back or slid them at the top of it. And then he also wanted a uh, a mount for his um, he's got things of more or some description. Um, so what I've done is I've timed the holes for the um, the buckle that line up with the two holes there and giving them a couple of mounts. So rather than something that will um, just add to the sleekness of that strap, it can actually bolt there, or if you wanted, you could bolt it on the back and have it rear. Um, I, th I think it just looks more sleek uh, by cleverly timing the holes to line up with the two top holes of that. It mounts on there quite nicely. Again, slid and keeper. So I can keep her at the top there. Bit of a beast. Um, when it came to doing um, things like these buckles, a lot of the time on um, when things have gone on a loop and then mounted. So these were the buckles, you end up with two rivets. I didn't want to do that, I tried to keep it narrow so they're stitched. Um, so that's that, finally done. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can see I've attained another level with that. What a monster. I was hoping it'd take me two days. Not. Like six. Um, the shoulder strap is two thicknesses and um, when they were glued together, pre-punched holes have actually um, coerced them into it into a, a sort of a U shape uh, so it naturally will sit nice on your shoulder as opposed to um, gluing it flat and then stitching it and then trying to force it it actually wants to hang like that if you have a look this way it doesn't, it doesn't want to get it actually was glued into a U shape so it actually I'm quite happy with that outcome. So, Wessex Blades, Harness Carry, bit of a beast in it. Um, yeah. Um, as with all my orders, when you order it, I was a certain level. By the time it comes around to you getting it, it's another level. So, it's got from Wessex Blades. Trying to knock it out of the park again with this Fenrir inspired harness carry for a Glock. One of my first customers because I think this is like, along with Steve Brummy Prepper, this is like number two or number three Glock. So, right early at the beginning when I went full time. So, nice to return to the, the blade and butch it up a bit with a nice shape. See you next.